On January 12, 2000, the Victorian school in Port-au-Prince was destroyed by fire. Exactly 10 years later to the day, the school was destroyed by a 7.0 earthquake. Executive director of the school, Romel Joseph, a blind violinist and graduate of Juilliard, tells his story of January 12, 2010. I would have said to them, I, I if my wife I said, look, um, I'm coming back in about one minute because our internet wasn't working well. And as I'm going back down, then the, this earthquake starts and the floor just opens. Wow. And I have no idea what happened. I think the floor that has the musical instruments went right on top of me. Part of two floors were above me, part of two were in front of me. And I was at the bottom, closed up, and then I keep calling, can anyone hear me? And I heard my friends like, sounds like 10 feet away, up. Yes, we can hear you, but there's nothing we can do. It's like, okay, so I spent my first two hours trying to see if I can get out. So I spent 16 more hours in there. And the, the basic 16 hours, I thought, okay, so if I'm going to be hanging around here, how can I make this pleasant? Something tells me to look at my watch. My watch has a light, which allows me to have a light in that hole. And then I make a schedule um, each hour, and which include my part of my schedule was to, to go over all the violin concertos I learned. Each hour I select one and, you know, pray a certain amount of time. So I had my, and what, what is so great about that is when you perform mentally, you're performing the Tchaikovsky concerto mentally, yeah. Yeah. that's about 40 minutes long. But in your head, you have a violin. Of course. You have an orchestra there, a pianist there, and that removes you from being in the hall to being in another space, which gives you more um, control over your environment and over the pain you're going through. And I take five minutes in my schedule every hour to make sure they know I was alive. Pretty much, that's how I spend the time, and then until 7 o'clock, my workers, a.m., 7 a.m., they came and they found where I was. It took them four hours to get me out because there was so much concrete under the, on top of me. When you're down there, you don't know if the, the whole country or the whole city was down. So you didn't know I, that I think it's just me. I thought the school maybe wasn't properly structured or something, and it was just the school that went down. You can remember, I didn't know how bad it was outside until I got out. They were telling me the palace is gone. Like, oh my God, this is serious. Ramel suffered two serious leg injuries and a broken left hand, leaving him to wonder if he'll be able to play the violin once again. I think my left hand must have been damaged. While I'm going down, probably my hand hit a block or hit something, and it broke. Because I got feelings in all my fingers. In fact, if I could fold them a little more, I'd probably be able to play. I really would like to play because I wouldn't like to live another 20 years not being able to play. Miraculously, the quake struck when most students were gone for the day. Eight students have been confirmed dead. Among the missing from the school is Romel Joseph's pregnant wife, Meesley. So my knowledge is not found. Okay. But I have not been able to go through where she was. Yeah. Where I knew she would be, actually. Yeah. Because it's, that floor went under the ground. And because of my health situation, I wouldn't be able to help conduct a search to find her. Yeah. So I'm hoping by the time I go to Haiti, my legs will be better. But as far as we know, she's not found. Yeah. She's, she disappeared. If, um, and as far as the future is concerned, I'm just going to wait to get better. Yeah. And after I get better, I'm going to do everything I can to continue my life just like it was yeah. with Valentine and the New Victorian School and give more time to spiritual life.